Well, there seems to be one smiling face missing around here this morning. Where's Dave? Your son-in-law got up at 6.30 this morning. What for? To close the window? Daddy, I'll have you know my son is working. Working? Dave working? Wonderful. <laughs> Mother, get out the raisin bread. Let's call for a celebration. <laughs> Where's he working? In the cellar. Well, let uh, In the cellar. Dad, he has a surprise for you. He's repairing your antique clock. Oh, no, no, Nancy. That, that clock is a hundred years old. If he ruins that... There she is, Dad. As good as new. How do you like that? Oh, I never thought anybody could make that wonderful old clock run again. Oh, it was nothing. Well, how about some breakfast? What? You haven't worked in months. But he tried. He was out on a deal yesterday, wasn't he, Nancy? Yes, he was. He was offered a job in Denver, taking charge of the branch office of a novelty company. <laughs> He'll be the biggest novelty they ever saw. <laughs> I'm going to take that job. Nancy, you and I are going to Denver. Oh, right. Oh, Gladys, listen, honey, pull yourself together. I'm not through yet. Uh, honey, you can't go to Denver and leave your mother here. What's the matter? Don't you like it here? Well, I, I'm not so sure. A change might do us good. That settles it. You're staying right here. Dad's right. There's no need for you to leave town. Well, you're bound to get a job sooner or later. Let's hope it'll be sooner. some good news. We've got to get the car into a garage and get it fixed before my father-in-law gets home. He's not coming home this week, is he? He's coming home tonight. Oh. I don't think we can get to it. You see, this here is supposed to fit over the axle. But we can't get to it. Well, all right, all right. So we'll hook it onto the bumper. Here. Hand me the hook. Now, you run the hoist. All right, take it away. Time to supper. 
Mom, I wish you and Daddy would stop worrying about him. When he left home, he said he'd come back with lots of good news. Well, I certainly hope so. That would make your father very happy. Oh, hello, Fred. Hi, Dad. Did you have a good day? <laughs> That's the last time I'll ever ride with Bill Cully. Believe it or not, the guy reads the paper while he's driving. <laughs> Hi, honey. Dave, what's the matter? Here, Dad. This is all yours. Dave O'Brien, I am so proud of you. Well. Sixty bucks. I'm sorry, Dad. It's all I could get. Well, I appreciate it, son, but <laughs> now I'm not going to keep all of this. Here, you take some of it and take Nancy out, show her a good time. You can use my car. Uh, Dad, I, uh, I can't use your car. Now, cut out the modesty, Dave. You were part of the family, and it's a family car. Now, you take her out, show her a good time. Mom and I'll... Wait a minute, Dad. You see, that, uh, that $60 is... What about the 60 bucks? You... You didn't steal it, did you? Uh, no, sir. Well, then where'd you get it? I, uh... I sold your car to the junk man. <laughs> What's wrong with selling your car? You sold my car to a junk dealer. No, 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 no,
Mr. Dad is trying to say is that everything is all right and we do want you to stay. And I know what we can do. Daddy can take the money and buy a new car. And then on Sunday we can drive to the country and have a picnic. Yeah, I'll take Saturday off and we'll shop for a car. Oh, now, wait a minute, Dad. I've caused you enough trouble already. You know very well that Saturday's the only day you get double time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you can't take Saturday off. We can't afford it. But I've got to get a car right away. Dad, why don't you let Dave go out and buy a new car for you? See, that's an idea. <sighs> well, I mean, buying a car is serious business. Uh, I'll tend to it personally. Uh, I know what I can afford. What's the matter, Daddy? Don't you trust Dave? He's only trying to help. Nancy, your dad is right. It's his money, and he should have the pleasure of buying his own car. That settled it. I'll take Saturday afternoon off, and we'll shop for the new buggy. And, Mother, you call the insurance company in the morning and tell them i got to have that money by Saturday. Yes, dear, I will. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm a lucky man to have such a wonderful family. <laughs> Yeah, I'm coming. Dave? What's the matter? What day is today? Oh, Saturday. That's right, it's Saturday. It works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and every Saturday it stops. What stops? The same. Well, what's the matter with it? It stops. <laughs> well, honey, I'll have it unplugged in a jiffy. You know, today's a big day. It's the last day your dad has to take the bus to work. He gets his new car this afternoon. <laughs> But I have to go to the downtown office to pick it up. And they close at noon on Saturday. Oh, well then, Dave, why don't you go down and pick up the money and save Mom the trip? Well, I'll be glad to. Now, Dave, do be careful. That's a lot of money to be carrying around in your pocket. Don't worry, ma'am. I'll be armed. Fixed my gun last night. Your gun? Was it broken? Yeah, the jelly beans kept falling out of the handle. Dave, <laughs> hey, that be home at one. All right, see you later. <laughs> Hop on the back and I'll help you make your getaway. Melvin, this is not loot. It belongs to my father-in-law. He's buying a car. Yeah? Boy, you lucky you ran into me. I can get you the best deal in town. Melvin, why don't you go peddle your Girl Scout cookies? Honest, Dave, I ain't kidding. My uncle is Silly Sam, the used car man. Oh, the one that wants to give them away? Yeah, but my aunt won't let him. Melvin, I'm not buying the car. My father-in-law's buying it. Well, look, Dave, why don't you just go down to Sam's lot and look over the merchandise? Well, my father-in-law won't be home till about one. I guess it wouldn't do any harm to look. Now you're cooking, Dave. The lot's just two blocks down. Don't forget to tell Sam that I sent you. Okay, Melvin. See you later. Good morning, neighbor. Good morning. Can I send you something? Well, no, I'm not buying. I'm just looking. My father-in-law is buying a car this afternoon. Oh, I'm a friend of your nephew, Melvin's. Well, friend of Melvin's, eh? Well, that practically makes you one of the family. Now, uh... It'd be a nice car for your father-in-law. Yeah, but I think my father-in-law would prefer a convertible. You see, his last car was a convertible. Everybody wants convertibles when I'm loaded with hard tops. Happens every summer. Then in the winter, when I'm loaded with convertibles, everybody wants hard tops. You, uh, say he's buying a car this afternoon, eh? Yeah, I got the money right here. Picked it up from the insurance company. Well, cash deal, eh? Hey, well, my friend, maybe I can do something for you. Oh, we uh, Clifford! Calling the sales manager, Mr. Kalotny. Will, uh, will you excuse me for just a moment, please? Sure. Yes, Sam? Hey, yeah. Uh, did that convertible come over from the junkyard yet? Yeah, it's on the back lot. Looks pretty sharp, too. You'd never know there was a scratch on it. Good. Have it wheeled in here right away. Okay. Well, our neighbor, maybe I can do something for you. Good. Now, uh, you just put your phone number on the pad. Then if a convertible comes in, which I doubt, I'll give you a call. We have a waiting list on convertibles as long as you're on. But seeing as you're a friend of Melvin's, I'll give you first crack. 
Now, uh, in case your father lost you change his mind about a convertible, here's a very economical job to offer. <laughs> yeah, runs on soft coal. <laughs> Good morning, madam. May I serve you? I just drove over from Pasadena. I heard you were paying top prices, and I'd like to sell my automobile. And I'd like to buy it. But I'm afraid it looks a little expensive for my lot. It's a very fine car, and it's had the best of care. No one's ever driven it except me, and I don't drive much. This is the first time it's ever been out of Pasadena. <laughs> But, as I say... Madam, this gentleman is a personal friend of mine. Now, if you can make a deal with him, it's okay with me. And you can save the commission and the sales tax by dealing direct with the lady. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe I ought to wait for my father-in-law. What? A missed chance like this? Convertibles are hard to find. How much would you want for the car? I'd like to get six hundred dollars. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's worth it, but I've only got five hundred. <laughs> well, I guess it'll be all right. I take the five hundred, young man. I like your face. <laughs> now, madam, if you just uh, sign your name on the bottom there. Thank you, and you, sir, right there. That's it. How about the money? Oh. <laughs> well, thanks again, and thank you, ma'am, and good luck. Young man, I want to warn you. Those brakes are a little tricky. No, don't you worry about them. You can have them adjusted for a dollar. Well, I'll fix them myself when I get home. Goodbye. Well, Clara, you did it again. That little old lady stuff from Pasadena never fails. Yeah. I gotta go over to Pasadena someday and see what the place looks like. Well, I sure hope Dad won't be sore. Why should he be? It's a beautiful car. And you got it so cheap, Dave. Yeah, and I've still got $18 left for the insurance money. It looks a little like Dad's old car. That ought to please him. So long, Brad. Thanks for the lift. Pretty classy-looking buggy. Who's is it? Yours. Dave bought it for you this morning. Dave bought it? I thought I was going to buy my own car. Well, I, I, I know, Dad, but it was such a bargain, I couldn't resist it. Now, look. Oh, now, Daddy, why don't you look at it first before you get mad at Dave? Mom and I think it's beautiful. Yes, she does look pretty good, doesn't she? Yeah, ain't she a Lulu, Dad? You know, I really got a break. It's a one-owner car. Belonged to an old lady in Pasadena. Did these belong to the old lady from Pasadena Zoo? Now, if you don't mind, I'll drive my new car in the garage. Hey, Dan, the brake!
say goodbye and tell you how sorry I am. I'll write your letter from Denver, Daddy. There's enough food in here to last you all the way. Thank you, Mama. My baby. My baby. <laughs> Mr. Beach, that's the guy that bought the lucky ticket. What? Well, congratulations, Mr. Staple. Oh, well, I'm not Mr. Staple. He's in here. So long, Greg. See you later. Uh, okay, Marvin. This is Mr. Staple. Well, congratulations, Mr. Staple. You have just won a brand new five-passenger car. A what? A brand new automobile. A new automobile? How did you do that? Yeah, how'd I do that? Because you bought a subscription to our newspaper. I didn't buy any subscription. Well, I did, Dad. The ticket's in your name. And the car is parked right out in front of the house. Honest? Nancy, yes. let's go see Dad's new car. <laughs> and don't forget, Dad, my husband got it for you. Oh, Dave, I love you. And now, Mr. Staple, if you'll give me your half of the ticket, I'll turn over the papers on the car. I haven't got the half of any ticket. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> Upstairs, I, 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 uh... That's it! I got it! Oh, Dave, you're wonderful! Sit down. <laughs> here you are, sir. And here you are, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> face missing around here this morning. Where's Dave? Your son-in-law got up at 6.30 this morning. What for? To close the window? Daddy, I'll have you know my son is working. Working? Dave working? Wonderful. <laughs> Mother, get out the raisin bread. Let's call for a celebration. <laughs> Where's he working? In the cellar. Well, let uh... In the cellar? Dad, he has a surprise for you. He's repairing your antique clock. <laughs> Oh, no, no, Nancy. That that clock is a hundred years old. If he ruins that... <laughs> there she is, Dad. As good as new. How do you like that? Oh, I never thought anybody could make that wonderful old clock run again. Oh, it was nothing. Well, how about some breakfast? <laughs> Oh. 
You fixed it, huh? Well, well. No, 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 I'm sorry. I, I'll buy you a new one. With what? You haven't worked in months. But he dropped. I sold it to the junk man. I suppose you're going to tell me it was the fault of the other car. Well, no, sir. There wasn't any other car. Oh. You wrecked it all by yourself, then? Well, no, not exactly. The fellow on the tow truck helped me. Oh. So he helped you. Well, now I'm going to help you. Right out of this house. Sweetheart, believe me, it's all for the best. Honey, we can't go on living like this. Your dad keeps riding me and... Well, I, I can't blame you. Everything I do is wrong. Oh, no, Dave. You haven't done a wrong thing in the two years we've been married. It's my fault. It was all my idea we came here to live with the folks. I did it because of Mama. And... Oh, honey, look, I love your mom just as much as you do. And your dad, too. It's, it's just that, well, I, I can't seem to get the kind of a job you want me to have in this town. Now, in Denver, I've got connections. All right. We'll go to Denver. That's my kill. It's all right here, Frank. See? It says, if the car is a total loss, the insured shall receive the sum of $518.75, payable upon proof of loss. It's really a blessing in disguise. <laughs> yeah, some blessing. How am I going to get to work tomorrow? Why don't you look on the bright side of it? Think what it will mean to have a new car and drive up to the plant. And think what Bill Cully and the boy... Mom, I wish you and Daddy would stop worrying about him. When he left home, he said he'd come back with lots of good news. Well, I certainly hope so. That would make your father very happy. Oh, hello, Frank. Hi, Dad. Did you have a good day? <laughs> That's the last time I'll ever ride with Bill Cully. Believe it or not, the guy reads the paper while he's driving. Hi, honey. Dave, what's the matter? Here, Dad. This is all yours. Dave O'Brien, I am so proud of you. Well... Sixty bucks. I'm sorry, Dad. It's all I could get. Well, I appreciate it, son, but... <laughs> now, I'm not going to keep all of this. Here, you take some of it and take Nancy out. Show her a good time. You can use my car. Uh, Dad, I, I, I can't use your car. Now, cut out the modesty, Dave. You are part of the family, and it's a family car. Now, you take her out, show her a good time. Mom and I'll... Wait a minute, Dad. You see, that, uh, that $60 is... What about the 60 bucks? You... You didn't steal it, did you? Uh, no, sir. Well, then where'd you get it? I, uh... I sold your car to the junk man. <laughs> What's wrong with selling your car? You sold my car to a junk dealer. No, 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 no,
in a big hurry. We've got to get the car into a garage and get it fixed before my father-in-law gets home. He's not coming home this week, is he? He's coming home tonight. Oh. I don't think we can get to it. You see, this here is supposed to fit old axle. But we can't get to it. Well, all right, all right. So we'll hook it onto the bumper. Here. Hand me the hook. Now, you run the hoist. All right, take it away. Time for supper. 